Hey guys, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to Garage Gym Reviews. Today we are going to talk about this rower behind me, the Mirac 950. Now this is a rower that I requested to get sent to the warehouse because it has dual resistance. Now I have tested out a ton of water rowers. I can think of like five off the top of my head that I've tested out recently, but none of them have a dual resistance function. So this actually uses water resistance as well as magnetic drag to give you a better performing machine. But does it really? We are going to talk about that. But first, make sure you're subscribe to our channel. Also, if you wanna go ahead and purchase this, make sure you use the link below the like button because when you use that link, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does give us a small commission. And lastly, this was sent to us. However, you'll see I do have a few call outs. As always, I am transparent in my reviews. So let's get more into the details of this Mirac 950. One of the things that I was initially drawn to was the overall design of this. It reminds me so much of the Ergotic Light, which we do have a full video review out now on our channel. If you wanna see details of that, check out that video review. But overall, I mean, this is so much cheaper, like $900 cheaper at the time of filming than the Ergata Light is. So my question kind of is, is does this stand up to the Ergata Light, a rower that is thought to be like a really good designed rower with really great programming, or does it fall short? And in my mind, if we take the rower itself, I actually do think it stacks up pretty well to the Ergata Light, although there is a couple things that I don't like as much. But in terms of programming, I mean, the Ergata has such better programming than the Mirac programming. All right, so like I said, this is a dual resistance rower, meaning that it's using both water resistance as well as magnetic drag. So with the magnetic drag, it can go from one to 16 levels of magnetic drag resistance, as well as that water resistance. Now, truth be told, I did a couple different classes on this using the Mirac programming, which I am I'm gonna talk about in a little bit. But overall, the programming really fell short for me, but that's not really surprising. Merrick offers free programming when you go ahead and purchase this 950 rower. So all you have to do is go ahead and download the app. And basically whenever you purchase a rower, you get the app for free. So it's not surprising. I mean, I think free apps are great. It's definitely something to utilize, especially if you don't wanna pay for programming. But when I compare it to all the other available programs that I've used out there, I mean, iFit, Peloton, Avron, on Ergata, I mean, the Mirac programming does just fall so short in my mind. Now, one thing when I went ahead, I downloaded the program. I tried to connect it through Bluetooth. Guys, when I say it took me way too long to figure out how to connect to the Bluetooth, not just me, like I feel like a real dummy. I had to go ahead and call Sam. I was like, Sam, what the heck? I don't understand what's going on. I'm hitting connect. I'm hitting Bluetooth connection. I'm hitting the large labeled button saying connect and it's not connecting. I mean, I tried everything from the old turn it off to turn it back on trick. Nothing was working until I looked at this small little button at the top of the screen. And when I say small, I mean small that was like, hey, use this button to choose the machine you wanna connect with and then hit that connection button. Guys, it was not made clear. I mean, once I figured it out, I did truthfully feel like a giant idiot, but overall it took me way too long to figure that out. Now, one thing that I do think is unique is this is what iFit would call like auto trainer control. So essentially the program will connect to your rower and go ahead and adjust the drag or adjust the resistance for you. I think this is great for a cheaper machine, but one call that I do have, like I said earlier, this goes from one to 16 levels of drag or resistance, whatever you wanna call it. I did not notice that. As I was taking a interval class on the program, it went ahead and adjusted my level of one to then six to then 12 to then 16. Guys, I almost noticed like no difference. Now you're probably saying like, well, that's because you're so strong. We can clearly see your biceps. We can clearly see your lats. Like, of course you wouldn't notice that resistance. And while I appreciate the compliments, like that's just not true. I do wish I would have felt a little bit more of a challenge, but overall from like one to 16, I felt a minor difference, but really nothing to write home about. Now this is a foldable designed rower. I actually don't like foldable designs. I have pinched my fingers way too many times trying to get the dang thing to fold in half. Any Anytime you fold it in half, that seat just comes crashing down on you. I like the idea of a foldable rower because again, it just saves so much more space. But truth be told, this can store vertically. I mean, you see that here, whether it's in the folded or unfolded position and like it's not taking up that much room unless you're living in a house that has this high of ceilings and like it's required to just like set that down lower. I don't know why you would need a folding function when this can be stored vertically. Overall, I just don't like it. I think it's a myth. 
this, it just becomes more cumbersome. It just becomes more chance of like breakage down the road. And so I just wish it wasn't a foldable design. And when I say like foldable design, I don't mean it like necessarily folds in half. It essentially just like collapses down on itself. But foldable design is kind of what people use to describe a foldable design rower. So that's the word I'm using. When it comes to how the rower performed overall, I thought it was actually a really good performing rower. When I was in the catch, when I was in the drive, when I was in the final or even the release position, everything felt so smooth, like just as smooth as the Ergata Light, which again is almost like double the cost of a rower like this. I felt like the seat was incredibly comfortable, one of the more comfortable seats that I've used on a rower. So if you are somebody who's planning to do long rowing sessions, you'll definitely appreciate that. Now, two things that I don't necessarily like, but this is also true for the Ergata Light, and I actually called these things out in the Ergata video, okay? One is the foot placement. The foot placement is so narrow. Now for me, I didn't necessarily mind this, but we had a couple people here test this rower out and they didn't like the narrow foot placement. If you are somebody who struggles with poor ankle flexion, poor hip mobility, this could be a factor that would just be a little bit bothersome to you. You might just be a little uncomfortable while rowing. Now, the second call out that I do have to this is that it sits so low to the ground. So again, some people might like not even think about this fact, but if you are a senior, if you have poor mobility, maybe you're recovering from an injury that really prevents you from getting low to the ground easily, this is gonna be a huge factor for you because it does sit very low to the ground. In terms of assembly, this is a super easy assembly. It essentially comes in a well-packaged box, almost entirely put together. The only thing that you really have to do is plug it in, which I feel like is kind of a no-brainer, and then also attach the screen function. Now, this is a really easy thing to attach, and it basically requires almost no tools. Although they do send you tools, we didn't really need to use them. I would just keep them on hand, so in case something gets loose down the line, you do have the ability to tighten it up, fix whatever you need. But in terms of assembly, I mean, this took like 10 minutes and easily one person with no prior knowledge of anything assembly could easily put this together. Another thing to keep in mind if you do buy this rower is filling it up, okay? The hole to fill up the water is actually really small. If you take like a basic garden hose, it's not gonna be able to fit into that. It does come with a water pump that allows you to fill it up, but overall it just isn't a great way to fill it up and it takes a very long time using that. What we did is we went ahead and attached a sprayer that we got from like Lowe's or Home Home Depot and it used the stream function. So it just sprayed out a very small stream into that small little pocket that you use to fill up the water. And that was like super easy. It might take a little bit longer because not as much water is getting in there as quickly, but overall it was less of a mess than trying to fill pitchers of water and pour them in them or use the air water like pump function that was sent with us. I think that if you have an attachment on hand, just, just go ahead and use it. Another thing I wanna talk about with this rower is that it has this cool like LED LED button display. Now, I actually found it really cool. It sticks with the modern aesthetic, the modern design of the rower, but if you have poor eyesight, like this is just gonna be hard to see. There are a lot of times early in the morning, I'll go out to my garage workout and I don't wanna put my contacts in and I don't wanna like wear my glasses because I get too sweaty and they start slipping down my face. If I didn't have contacts in or my glasses on while using this rower, I would generally not be able to see the numbers displayed on the screen. I mean, we'll be able to show you here in a second, but it's like, really small. It does have, again, LED lighting, so the numbers are bright. But if I'm far away and I'm trying to look at my strokes per minute or I'm trying to look at the time, whatever it is, I'm gonna really struggle seeing those numbers. Few last thoughts on this. I love the sound of the water rower. Now it says it has like a bass drum design. I actually found that that to be true. Overall, I really like the sound of water rowers, but this almost had like a deeper sort of noise to it as I was using it. Have you heard those like meditative like drum sounds? Like that's what it almost reminded me of and I really enjoyed it. In terms of who this is right for, on the website, it has a user weight capacity of 330 and then also 350. I looked it over multiple times to make sure I was reading that correctly. I don't know which one is necessarily true. I say cut the difference, let's go with 340. But overall, I'm not sure the true weight capacity on this. It also says that people up to 6'7 can use this. While we don't have anybody 6'7 to test this out, I did have Adam here who is 6'4, 
test it out. He was able to fully extend, use it very comfortably. So overall, I do think it allows for a lot of taller people to be able to use this rower as well. The rower itself is made from oak wood and then also ABS. ABS is a very tough plastic. The thicker that ABS is, the more durable the machine is. Overall, I think aside from like the folding function, I don't have any sort of worries about the sturdiness or the durability of this machine. Okay, so here are my final thoughts when it comes to the Mirac 950. If you are looking for a good quality rower that's budget friendly, absolutely, I would get this. I mean, I thought that it was smooth. I really enjoyed it. I thought that it looked really nice and it doesn't take up a lot of space. The one thing, if you are looking for a quality rower with great programming, you have to check out the Ergata Lite. I would just like absolutely point you in that direction. And I would say steer clear from the Mirac programming unless you really don't care about programming and maybe you just want a free option to use on occasion, then I think it's great. But overall, I mean, in terms of the rower itself, I think this is a great rower. So if you have used this rower, let us know in the comments. Tell us your thoughts on this. This has been Lindsay with Garage Reviews.